Today's soap is inspired by Flag Day, and I plan during the cut of the soap to visit with you about the history and the purpose of Flag Day. So our soap is going to be red, white, and blue because my country's colors on its flag are red, white, and blue. Red vibrance, blue vibrance, and the white will be the natural color of the soap with shimmer pearl slice of the moon glitter. The fragrance I'll be using is Cotton Tree. I read that this accelerates a little bit. I didn't read any other negative effects that it could have. We are going to include sugar. We are going to include kaolin clay, tussa silk, as well as buttermilk powder, and the messy activated charcoal. I'm going to have an embed in the shape of a star because our flag is called the Star Spangled Banner. Here we are, we have all of our oils ready. Our lye water, which has some tussa silk fibers in it. We will separate into three colors, red, white, and blue. Here we have our red. That is a deep red, very nice. I'm leaving this one white. I'm going to add though, just some glitter to it. Maybe like two thirds of a teaspoon of glitter. Boy, that glitter goes all over the place when you use it. And our blue vibrance. In here we've got our fragrance oil as well as our powdered sugar, kale and clay and buttermilk. So because this is gonna accelerate probably, we're gonna do it color by color. Pour in at least half of our blue here. It's definitely accelerating, I would agree. Now here's our little stars with some activated charcoal dusted onto them. Let's hope they sit okay. This is 20 stars. Now I just hope I have enough blue to cover our stars. Try to even it out a little bit because I did not pour evenly. Try to clean up our sides where the red and white will be. Okay, well we're already looking pretty thick here, which is concerning, but we can do it. So I'm gonna add my fragrance to red first. Then our fragrance into the white. Come on. We got a lot of soap to pour. Excuse me, you got bumped pretty rough there. You all right? Okay, there's that. Now I'll try to get all the rest of the white. Looks like our mold is full, which is okay because I wanted to texture the top anyway with like a flowy thing, like the flag waving. I'm trying to get this back in the mold over here where it's trying to creep out. It's getting very, very thick. I need to hurry up. Well, 
Well, it definitely doesn't look as flowy as I want it to look, but I think it's good enough. You know what? I'm thinking a little bit of glitter. I think it needs a little something. All right, I think that's good enough. I think I, I think the glitter is just fine. I think we'll stop. Glitter's going everywhere. I am cutting this soap the next day. And let's visit just a little bit about Flag Day and the American flag. On June 14th, 1777, the Continental Congress approved the design of the national flag. And since then, Americans have commemorated the adoption of the Stars and Stripes in many ways, displaying the flag in front of their homes, in parades, and other patriotic observances, like making a bar of soap. For instance, on June 14th, 1777, the official words written in the journals of the Continental Congress state that the flag of the 13 United States shall be 13 stripes, alternate red and white, that the Union be 13 stars, white on a blue field, representing a new constellation. The flag's design is credited to Francis Hopkinson, who also designed the Great Seal and the first coin of the United States. So far, there have been 27 official versions of the flag, but the arrangement of the stars would change based on the flag maker's preferences until 1912, when President Taft standardized the flags at the time 48 stars into six rows of eight, then 49 star flag, as well as our current 50 star flag. The current version of the flag dates to July 4th, 1960, after Hawaii became the 50th state on August 21st, 1959. Nicknames for our United States flag include the Stars and Stripes, Old Glory, and the Star Spangled Banner. So in summary of our flag, there are 50 stars representing our 50 states, and there are 13 stripes representing the 13 British colonies that declared independence from the Kingdom of Britain. The United States of America's motto is, In God We Trust. Our anthem is the Star Spangled Banner. Our national bird is the bald eagle. The national mammal is the North American bison. Our national floral emblem is the rose. Our national march song is the Stars and Stripes Forever. And our national tree is the oak tree. Well, what a patriotic soap. I'm so happy with the final result. The star looks so nice and crisp. I love outlining my embeds with activated charcoal. I did a side stamp here, got it to fit in just the blue area, which is nice. I really like it. It's a very classic scent, and a lot of people like to compare it to clean laundry smelling, which I guess I can agree with. What is, what's that over there? That. What is this? A secret batch of soap? It smells like lemongrass and green tea. I guess we might as well go cut the soap. I made this soap really quick yesterday, Sunday, because I still had a lot of those star embeds left over. And so I thought I'll make another one, but I'll make it in my taller mold. And look, it still turned out lovely. I don't know if you noticed while I was cutting my first loaf, I was lucky and I never cut down in between where the stars are connected to each other because these are a bunch of little stars uh, attached to each other with water, basically. So they kind of glue themselves to each other. And I'm wondering if in this batch I'm going to hit, you know, the, the in between. This looks wonderful. I love it. Lemongrass and green tea is the fragrance because I already knew how it behaved and I just really wanted to make another batch and I did use up the rest of my stars. I hope you enjoyed the little history lesson I gave you on our on our flag. I enjoyed looking it up and finding the pictures and stuff. Making the soap is how I'm celebrating flag day. How are you celebrating? Whoa, look. I knew I wasn't going to stay lucky and I was going to end up cutting in between where the stars are connected to each other. We will cut the, a little sliver off of this in order to get another full bar. So here's gonna be a sample. Well, before my star interrupted my sentence, what are you doing to celebrate Flag Day? And you're welcome to say nothing.
<laughs> I certainly am happy with how these American flag soaps have come out. I'm going to give several of them away when we celebrate the 4th of July. So most of these are going to be gifts. Okay, well happy flag day everyone. And I'll end this video with a little comparison of the two soaps. Looks like I didn't use quite as much blue vibrance this time. And I may not have used quite as much red vibrance. I have used slightly less, it looks like. Thank you for watching!